and we are live. Who's gonna be the first to join? Who's gonna be the first to join? Hello, hello, welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Hello guys, hello, hello. Hello, welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. Hello, welcome you, so welcome my friend. Welcome, welcome, hope you're well. Oh, thanks so much already for the gifts, you. Thanks so much for the, all the gifts. Welcome, guys. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're well. Thank you so much, user, for the rose and the cake. Welcome, welcome, guys. Afternoon, afternoon. Hope everyone's well. Hello, unknown user. Welcome, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Sorry about my voice, guys. I've got a bit of like a sore throat today. I apologize. Okay. Hello, Tiffany. Welcome, welcome. Nice to have you on the call. Hello, guys. Afternoon, guys. Afternoon. Welcome, welcome. Guys, the plan for today. So last time we started this paper, but we didn't actually quite finish it, okay? Because yeah, I, I actually got um yeah, I had to cut like the live a bit earlier, okay, because I had like other commitments. Okay, so we're gonna restart the GCC HOA foundation tier, okay, paper one, non-calculator, okay, white rose maths key exam paper, okay. Hello, said, okay, welcome, welcome. Guys, if, if, you, if, if you're new around here, make sure you give us a follow, guys. Okay, thank you for liking, Tiffany. Thank you, user, for liking. Okay, make sure you're tapping the screen, guys, sharing the live out, okay, doing all that good stuff. Okay, I will make a start in, in the next few minutes. Okay, so the plan today, yeah, is just doing an eight grade foundation to your paper. Okay, hello, Amanda, welcome, welcome. Hello, Dubs, welcome, welcome. Thank you, Tiffany, for liking. Thank you so much, user, for liking. Thank you, user, for liking. Hello, Charlotte. Hello, Callias. Hello, Deborah, welcome, welcome. Hello, D. Welcome, welcome. Nice to be in the call. Thank you so much, Tiffany, for liking. Welcome, guys. Welcome, welcome. Hello, N. Love all. Thank you so much, Tiffany, for liking. Hey, can I do edit social? I can do, yes. Hey, can we get started? Yes, we can. Okay. This is the foundation tier paper. Okay. If you're doing higher, this will still be relevant for you. Okay. Particularly those last few questions. Okay. Hello, RA. Welcome, welcome. Hello, P5E. Hey, thank you so much. Okay. Thank you for liking. Hey. Hello, Katie and welcome, welcome, okay? We'll start, guys, when we hit 1K lives, okay? Yeah, so make sure you're tapping, guys, okay? Sharing the live out, all that good stuff. Okay? Any gifts, you are more than obviously welcome, okay? Obviously, I've set a target of 100 roses, okay? But there's no need yet to go crazy about it, okay? But any gifts are welcome, okay? Right, guys, we shall make a start in just a sec, okay? I'll give you, I'll, I'll give you a minute or so, yeah? Just, just obviously print it out if you need to print it out, okay? We did start this last time, okay? So we'll just start again, okay? You would send me the exam spec for foundation. And uh, I can do yes, and at some point, yes, I'll try to do that, yes. Um, if you just type in Google here, yeah, if you type in Google, um, AQA GCSE foundation to your exam spec, okay? Then it should actually come up as you're on there, okay? Or a or edit for yeah, like exam ever. Okay, so on the exam board website, they have the specification for all the topics. Okay, thank you so much, Sharos, for the follow. Thank you so much for the follow. You guys, if you're new around here, make sure you press that follow button. Okay, my target, if I can, it's quite ambitious, it's trying to hit tinker. Okay, so let's start, guys. Okay, thank you for 1k likes. Right, so question one, guys. Okay, so I'll zoom in a bit. Okay, so the first few questions are on the screen. Okay, so looking at a foundation tier, okay, non calculated paper. Okay. This is still relevant, okay, if you're doing higher tier as well, okay? So we will make a start, okay? I'll give you a minute or so to answer the first few questions, okay? and then we'll share some answers when we're ready, okay? Thank you so much, guys, for the like. Thank you so much for the follows, okay? Thank you so much for all the support already. Okay, I would love, yeah, so my target on a typical live, I would love to try and hit 50K likes, yeah, in this live machine. That would that, be an absolute dream, okay? So... Make sure we're tapping, okay, sharing, all that good stuff. Okay, but thank you for all, any gifts, guys. Thanks so much for, for any gifts. Okay. I'll give you another minute or so, okay, just to answer these first few questions, and then we'll share some answers to the first few questions, okay? Sorry, I went down a bit there. Okay. For anyone doing higher, this will still be relevant for you, okay? Thanks so much for the follow. But yes, and I'll I'll send you the exam spec here yeah, after this live year when I get to this. Hello, Dylan. Welcome, welcome. Hello, Rish. Hello, Sarah. Welcome, welcome. 
Okay, so, sorry about my voice today. I'm just going to be able to talk through. But we're here, going to get it done, okay? Hard work never stops, okay? Hello, British TV today. Welcome, sir. Welcome, my friend. Nice to have you on the call again. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Right, guys, type ready in the chat when you're ready for me to go through the answers. And we'll go through it, okay? So, type ready or yes in the chat when you're ready. We've got eight people in the chat here. This is awesome, guys. This is awesome, awesome. Can you send me this as well? Um, I'll I'll try to, yeah, if I can, okay? Okay, Dylan says yes. This is foundation, yes. It's foundation, okay? Thank you so much, British Super 2, for liking it. Okay, question number one. Circle the even number. So an even number ends in a zero, two, four, six, and an eight, okay? And an odd number, okay, conversely, ends in a one, three, five, seven, nine, okay? Right, so an even number would be 132, okay? Because all the other numbers end in a one, three, and a five, which make them odd, okay? No worries, no, no worries, put them again, no worries. Okay, question number two, circle the decimal that is equivalent to three-fifths, okay? So three-fifths as a decimal, okay? One way of doing it, okay, is to change the fraction in terms of tenths, so times top and bottom of the fraction by two, okay? So, well done, snap, yep, spot on, okay, yep. So, three times two is going to be six. I get six tenths. Now, six tenths means six divided by ten. Okay, so six divided by ten will give us 0 0.68. And that's my answer to question number two. Okay, on to number three, guys. Okay? So, next one. Circle the value of 30 squared. So, 30 squared means 30 times 30. Okay, so 30 times 30. So do 3 times 3 and then add on your two zeros. Okay, so 3 threes are 9. Okay, and then add on your two zeros. You're going to get the answer of 900. Okay, so 900. Okay, that's my answer for question number 3. Okay, so moving on, guys. Okay, moving on. Right, question number 4. Okay. And circle the name of the straight line on the circle. So then we got key terms. So anyone know what this is called, guys, in the chat? So it's a line from the center. Well done, snap yet. Well done, okay, spot on. Okay. Um, to answer that question here about how many marks for grade four, that really actually fluctuates. Okay, if you go on a website called Math Spot, okay, so Math Spot has all the grade boundaries for the past number of years, okay? And that will give you more information about what the grade boundaries are and, and how many marks you need, okay? Thank you all for the follow. Thanks so much, Will, for the follow, okay? Right, guys, I'll give you just a few seconds to screenshot that if you want to screenshot it, okay? Five, four, three, two, one. Thank you so much, Will, for the follow. Thanks so much, Will, for the follow. Okay, right, on to the next question. So our first worded question already, okay. Hello, my friend, welcome, welcome, hello, hello. Okay, so question number five, okay. It says, in a game, there are cards that show either odd or even numbers. One-fifth of the cards show odd numbers, okay. There are 120 cards that show even numbers. Work out the total number of cards in the game. Well, we know that one-fifth are odd. Therefore, the number of even will be four fifths. Okay, thank you so much, Harry, for the follow. Thanks so much, Harry, for the follow. Okay, so four fifths are even because the number of odd cards plus the number of even cards has to equal a total of one. Now, one in this case represents one hundred twenty. Sorry, four fifths. Sorry, re represents one hundred twenty, not one. Okay, so four fifths re represents one hundred twenty. Thanks so much, fans, for the follow. Thanks so much, fans, for the follow. Okay, so. To work out five fifths, I'm going to divide it by four. So one fifth. Okay, so dividing this by four. Well, 12 divided by four is going to be three. And then add on the zero, I'm going to get 30. Okay, so to work out five fifths, which is one whole, we're going to multiply 30 by five. So 30 times five is 150. Okay. My answer is 150. Hello, Sharky. Welcome, welcome. Hello, God favorite. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, AJ, for the follow. Thanks so much, AJ, for the follow. Okay. 
Thank you for all the likes, guys. Thank you so much for all the likes. Thank you, Sharky, for liking. 150k in there, okay? Oops, sorry. I think my screen's gone. Fifty. That's my answer for that question. Okay, does that make sense, guys? Are we are we happy with that? Let's move on. Okay, question number six. So simplifying ratios. Thank you so much, AJ, for the follow. Thank you so much, AJ, for the follow. Okay, hello, hello, welcome, welcome. So write the ratio nine to six in its simplest form. Okay, this is all to do with knowing your highest common factor or factors. So the highest common factor of 9 and 6 is going to be 3. So divide this by 3. And divide this by 3. Okay, so in the chat, guys, what is 9 divided by 3? Hello, Amber, welcome, welcome. So what is 9 divided by 3? Hello, Tom, welcome, welcome. Yep, well done, Francis. Yep, spot on. And then what's six divided by three? Yep, spot on. Well done, Francis. Yep, spot on. So my final answer is three to two. Okay. And I cannot simplify that any further because there are no common factors between three and two other than one. And dividing by one does not change my answer. Okay. Right, guys, a few seconds to screenshot that. Thanks so much, Antonio, for the, for the share. Thanks so much, Antonio, for the share. Okay. So, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, moving on pretty quickly today, guys. Okay, sorry, this is a bit fast. Okay. Question number seven. Okay. Take all the statements, okay, that apply to a rhombus. So, a rhombus is a tilted square. Okay, it's a tilted square. Okay, so all four side length, Mr. Brophy, this is you. No, it's not me, actually, Antonio. No, it's not me. Mr. Jalan, not me, I'm afraid. Is this foundation? Yes, it's foundation, yes. Okay, so all four um, sides are equal in length. Well, that is true, because, okay? yeah, it's a tilted square. The sum of the interior angles is 180. Well, that's not true, because angles in a quadrilateral add to me. Um, 360 uh, it is actually foundation, it is foundation paper. Foundation, thank you, thank you, user, for applying here. Thank you, thank, thank you for applying. Okay, it has a rotational symmetry of order four. Well, that is right, yep, yeah, because it has, yeah, it's a four sided shape and it has exactly two pairs of parallel sides. Well, that is also true. Okay, thank you, R4Z underscore for liking. Thank you, thank you so much for liking. Oh, almost two and a half key likes with this year. We'll only be going to ship for a few minutes, but this is awesome. Okay, right, guys, next question. Okay, question number eight. A bag contains red and blue counters. 78% of the counters are red. Okay, what percentage of the counters are blue? Well, percentage is out of 100 because it adds up to make 100. To be 100%. Subtract 72%. Yep, 78%. Sorry. Well done, Antonio. Yep, spot on, Antonio. Okay. And that answer will give us 22%. Okay, spot on. Well done, okay. Well done, friends. Yep, spot on. Okay, well done. Well done. Okay. Part B. Ewan buys 25 sweets from a shop. He eats seven sweets. What percentage of sweets did Ewan eat? Well, he ate seven. So he ate seven twenty-fifths. Now, to go from a fraction to a percentage, we multiply it by 100. Okay. A fraction by 100. Okay. So if I do 100 divided by 25, that'll give me 4. 4 times 7 is going to be 28. 
the answer will be 28%. Okay. Again, if you're unsure, okay, you write it over one, okay, multiply fractions, okay, so you get 700 over 25, okay, pardon me, sorry, and then using the bus stop method or long division, okay, you would get your answer of 28, okay, does that make sense, guys, are there any questions? Hello, look, welcome, welcome. i would be welcome, welcome. Hello, Shannon. Okay, awesome, awesome. Right. Give you a few seconds to screenshot that. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Hello, Louis. Welcome, welcome, Louis. Okay, moving on now. Okay. Next question. Okay, so let's zoom in a bit. Question number nine. So looking at some probability here. A game is played by choosing a tile randomly from a pile. The tiles are either blue, green, or red. The probability that the tile is blue is 0 0.2. The probability that the tile is green is 0 0.35. What is the probability that the tile is red? Okay. So what do probabilities always add up to, guys? Hello, Jasmine. Welcome, welcome. So what do probabilities always add up to, guys? Do you know what? Guys, if you're new out there, make sure you give us a follow. Okay, well done, friends. You have to spot on, okay? So to work out the probability of red, it's a probability of red, okay? It's going to be one take away 0 0.2 and 0 0.25. Okay, no worries, Antonio. Thank you. More than zero zero dot zero zero. Yep. Okay. Zero point two. Okay. Plus zero point three five. So zero point two plus zero point three five is zero point five five. We have one subtract zero point five five. Sorry about my handwriting, guys. I apologize about my handwriting. Okay. So that will give me 0 0.45. Okay. So probabilities must always add up to make one. Okay. So that's my answer to that question. Okay. Right. Next question. So looking at some um you know, like real world problems. Okay. No worries. Okay. I'm 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 I'm, I'm going too fast, guys. Or are you, are you keeping up? Sorry. I'm I'm going too fast. Let me know in the chat, guys. Stop me at all, yeah, if, if, if I'm going a bit too fast. Okay, awesome, awesome. Question number 10. The cost of some items in a cafe are shown below. Rosie uses a £20 note. To pay for two coffees, one red and three pastries. Sorry, one tea. Sorry, one tea. Okay. If they basically, how much change should she get? Well, two coffees, so that'd be two times three, so that'd be six pounds. Okay. One tea, so that'd be two pounds fifty. And then three lots of two pound eighty. Hello, Becky. Welcome, welcome. Hello, T. Thank you so much, T, for the follow. Thank you so much for the follow, T. Okay, so three. Oops, my, my keypad is is not on my side. Today. I apologise. So three lots of two pound eighty. Hello, Amelia. Welcome, welcome. Hello, nice, nice to have you on the call. Okay. Let's have a look. Okay, so, so let's double check, Antonio. So let's double check. Okay. So three times zero is going to be zero. Eight times three is going to be 24. So four carry the two. Decimal point goes there. Two times three is going to be six. Plus the two is going to be eight. So it's going to be eight pound 40. We're going to add on eight pound 40. 
Let's double check Antonio. Let's double check. Hey. Hey. So zero plus zero plus zero is going to be zero. Okay. Zero plus five is going to be five. This one's going to be nine. I have nine there. Okay. Decimal point lines up. Six plus two is eight. Eight plus eight is going to be sixteen. So sixteen pound ninety is how much she paid. So that we'll now do twenty pounds. Take away sixteen pound ninety. Again, please show your full work in the in your exam. Okay. Sorry about my handwriting, guys. I'm so sorry about my handwriting today. It's a bit all over the place. Okay. So we find zero to zero is going to be zero. Zero to take nine can't do so need to borrow. Make that a one, make that a nine. So make that a ten, sorry. Cross off again as you make that a nine, make it a one. Ten take nine is going to be one. Decimal point goes there. Nine takes six is going to be three. And then one take one is going to be zero. Okay. So yes, Anthony Yep, spot on Anthony Yep, three pound ten pence. Okay. That's my answer to that question. Okay. Does that make sense, guys? Let me know. Okay. Again, if you send me the screenshot, hello, Cal, welcome, welcome. Okay. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, moving on, guys. Hello, Afia, welcome, welcome. Okay. We're now looking at some place value work. Okay. Again, a super common topic here, especially for our foundation tier paper. Okay. Question number 11. Yes, it's my nation. Yeah, please. Hello, Kai. Welcome, welcome, Kai. Hey. So, we are given that 86 times 39 is 3,354. Use the fact to work out the calculation, part A. So, 86 times 3.9. Well, my answer will be 10 times smaller. It will be 335.4. Okay. 335.4. Okay. The reason for that is because I've divided this by 10. Okay. Therefore, I must divide the answer by 10. Okay. There we go. Okay. That's my answer for that. Okay. Does that make sense, guys? Let me know. Does that make sense? Hello, what about we are welcome, welcome? Right, moving on then, okay. Part B, key multiplying decimals to zero point eight six times zero point three nine. She okay again. Use our factory. Hello, Adam. Twenty. Welcome, welcome, my friend. Okay. So we divided this by a hundred. Get to here. Divided this by a hundred. So therefore, we're going to divide our final answer by a hundred squared. So I we're going to divide this number. Okay, by ten thousand. Why divide by ten thousand? Because. Sorry, give me one second, sorry. Give me one second, okay? So for part A, we divided our answer by 10 because to go from 39 to 3.9, we divided that by 10, okay? Now, to keep this sum in check, I must divide the right-hand side by 10, okay? So I get the same answer, okay? So 86 times 3.9 is 335.4, okay? Does that make sense, Afia? Okay. So, back to part B, okay? 
So decimal points here. So move it four places to the left. So one, two, three, four places. Okay. So the answer would be zero point three three five four. Okay. And again, the reason we, we divided it by ten thousand is because to go from eighty six. Your voice is breaking my cheek. I can't hear you clearly. Oh, is it, is it not working? Can you hear me now? Hello, Sid. Welcome, welcome, Sid. Oh, okay. Guys, is it, can, can you hear me, guys? Is it clear? So I feel can't hear me, okay. Let me know guys, it's not clear. Okay. Do, do you want to close the app Afia and then come back here? Because I'm I'm testing it on here and like like I can hear myself actually quite well. I have got a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit of like a sore throat today, so I apologise. Hello, Ronnie. Welcome, welcome. The F seventy eight is fine. Okay, guys, let me know. Can you hear me, guys? Is it clear? Can you hear me? Yeah. We can hear you, but it cuts out a little. Ah, oh, okay. Right. Okay. This is AK, my friend. This is AK Foundation. Okay. So let's move on, guys. Okay, yeah. So let's move on to part C. Okay. So we've got a decimal. Okay, divided by 86. Okay, so going back to the top. Okay, let's zoom out for a second and go up. Okay, so 86. Okay, so this number, well, this number gives us this number. Okay, now we're doing 33.54 by 86. So I need to multiply. Sorry, I, sorry, I, I need to actually divide. This number, my answer by 100, so it'd be 39. Divide by 100, okay, which is 0 0.39. Oops. Hey, does that make sense, guys? Are, are we happy with that? Hey, question 12, guys, in the chat then, okay? Let me know. Okay, awesome, Asma, welcome. Okay, awesome, awesome. Okay, let me know in the chat, guys. Circle the length that is equivalent to 1.03 meters. Hey, so think of your conversions. Okay. Hello, Vicky. Welcome, welcome. Yep, yeah, spot on. Okay, well done. Ask me, yes. Spot on. Okay. So from meters to centimeters, we multiply by 100. The decimal point moves two to the right. So the answer would be 103 centimeters. Okay. That's because one meter. Is a hundred centimeters. So to go from meters to centimeters, we multiply by one hundred. Okay. 
But does that make sense, guys? Okay, so 10 seconds, the screenshot. Okay, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay, moving on now. Okay, question number three. Okay, so this one's quite a nasty question. Okay, right. So it says the diagram shows three congruent rectangles. Okay, so congruent means same size shaped rectangles. Okay, it says the total length of the diagram is 18 centimeters. Okay, work out the area of one of those rectangles. Okay, so we know that the length plus the width, okay, the length. Plus the width. Thank you so much, friends, for liking. Thank you so much, friends, for liking. Okay, length plus width is equal to 18. We also know that the area of a rectangle, okay, so the area of a rectangle, okay, is length times width, okay? So length times width, okay? Now, what do we know? Well, the length, okay, that will be 18, okay, minus W, okay. So if, if I rearrange this, okay, the length is 18 minus W. Are we, are we happy with that? So we're looking for the factors of 18. Okay, so factors of 18. So what are my factors of 18? Well, there'll be 1 and 18. Okay. 2 and 9. Okay, 3 and 6. Okay, are, are we happy with this so far? Okay. So what would my next step be, guys? Anybody know? What would my next step be? Okay. This is quite a tricky issue. It's a tricky question, this one. Okay. We also know that the width, okay, is 18 minus L. Okay. So the area of one rectangle, okay, is length times width okay so the area of one would be w brackets 18 minus w okay that would be the area of one rectangle okay so tyloon says 84 okay let's just double check okay so we want yes yeah yeah so it's a bit of yeah what we call actually trial and error here okay so we want the length plus the width to make 18. so if we do okay 6 plus 12 okay that will give me 18. So the length times the width we do 6 times 12 Be careful, actually, be careful, actually, um, Thailand, be careful, okay, it's 72, okay, centimetres squared, okay, so it's 72 centimetres squared, okay, does, does that make sense, guys, does that make sense, hello, booze, boutique, welcome, welcome, hello, 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 nice to be on the call, guys, thank you so much, yeah, for 3k likes, guys, yeah, thanks so much for 3k likes, hey, can we get to 10,000 likes, okay, in this live, okay? Can we try and get to 10,000 likes, okay? That is also my target today, okay? So tap the screen, guys. Okay, awesome, awesome. Fran says yes, okay? Right, so let's move on now, okay? So 
Next question here, sharing in a given ratio to the question 14. So Dexter and Kim share 840 pounds in the ratio of five to seven. How much money does Dexter receive? Well, Dexter receives five twelfths, okay, of the total, okay, which is going to be 840, okay? So he receives five twelfths of 840, okay? The 12 has come from the five to the seven. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Ashi. Thank you, fans, for liking. Thank you so much, fans, for liking. Guys, anyone that's new around here, make sure you give us a follow, please. Okay. I'll give you a second to just obviously work it out here. Yeah. Using bus stop method. Okay. So we'll do 840 divided by 12 and then times it by 5. Okay. What answer do we get in the chat? Hello, Paige, Amy, welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. I hope you're well. Hello, and welcome, welcome. So a fraction of an amount, we divide by the bottom and then times by the top. Okay. Hello, Sophie. Welcome, welcome, Sophie. Hello, hello. Hey, give me a minute, guys. When you get an answer, let me know. Hey. So type in ready when you're ready hey, for me to go through. The page said 350 a okay, so let's double check case. Okay, so let's double check pages to answer. Anyone else got an answer? Or is, is it just page answering? Okay. Okay, guys, so sharing the answer, okay? So a fraction of an amount, we divide by the bottom and then times by the top. So 84 divided by 12 is going to be 7. Okay, out of the zero here is going to be 70. We're going to have five lots of 70. Okay, which indeed is 350 pounds. So Dexter receives 350 pounds, okay? So we did 84 divided by 12, okay, which is 7, and then added on the 0, which made it 70, and then times it by 5. 7 times 5 is going to be 35, and then add on the 0, and I get 350, okay? So well done, Paige. Yep, good work, Paige. Okay. Does that make sense, guys? Does that make sense? Okay. I'll give you just 10 seconds to screenshot, okay? 10, 9, 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, moving on now. So, what the guys yeah, good, good work so far today. Okay, question 15 and share. So, it's now starting to approach the higher tier questions. Okay, so these questions, yeah, I, I would also say are now higher tier topics as well. Okay, hello, welcome, welcome, guys. Hello, 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 leavers. Welcome, welcome. Question 15, 15, guys. Okay, so we've got the vector A, which is minus 3, 7, and B is 0, 9. Work out the column vector 2A plus B. Okay, thanks so much, R, for like Thank you, R, for liking. So I'm going to have two lots of the vector minus 3, 7. Because my handwriting today is upon I'm so sorry about my handwriting today. I'm so sorry about my handwriting. It's appalling today. Okay, plus the vector zero nine. Okay, so expanding the vector bracket. Hello, Max. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so two times minus three, so that'll be minus six. Yep, more than Talan. Yep, spot on Talan. Yep, so minus six, and then we're going to have 14 there. Okay. Plus zero nine. 
key. So now when I add vectors, I add my top components and my bottom components separately. Okay, so minus six plus zero is going to be minus six, and then fourteen plus nine is twenty-three. Okay, so well done, and yep, well done, talent for getting that in the chat. Fantastic work, okay? Spot on, okay? Thank you so much, Nimat, for liking. Yeah, welcome, Nimat, here. Yeah, welcome, welcome. Welcome, Nimat, here. Yeah. Nice having the call. Thank you, thank you for joining. Okay, next question. So, drawing a vector, so draw the vector 2, 5 on the grid. Okay, so we go across 2. Okay, so remember, yeah, vector is my x component and my y component. Okay, so we go 2 across, then 5 up. Okay, so 2 across, and then 5 up. Okay, yeah. Again, using a ruler here, okay. Let's make it a bit more thicker, okay. So it looks something like that, okay. And that is my answer, okay, for that question, okay. So does that make sense, guys? Does that make sense? Let me know, okay? I'll give you a few seconds to screenshot that. Okay. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay, so let's move on now. Okay, to the next question. Hello, Matt. Focus Twitter. Welcome, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. Okay, next one, okay? So an area of a 2D shape, and then looking at some costs, okay? So, question 16, guys, okay? Question 16, okay? So the area of a parallelogram, okay, is 24 centimeters. Hello, Ice King, welcome, welcome. Circle the height of the parallelogram, okay? So the area, guys, of a parallelogram, guys, yeah, is the base times the perpendicular height, okay? So it's the base times the perpendicular height, okay? So the perpendicular height. Hello, Emily. Welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. Okay. So does that make sense, guys, so far? Okay. So I'm going to do 6 times H, okay, which will be 6H. So that's a bit too thick. I have six H. Oops. So six. Oh, sorry, guys. Why is my keypad so bad today? I'm so sorry. Why is my keypad so bad today? I have six H. Hello, R. Welcome, welcome, R. So six H equals twenty four. So in the chat, guys, what would H be? What would H be? So six times what is twenty-four? Hello, 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 hello again, friends. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. Hello, Natasha. Welcome, welcome. So six times what is twenty-four, guys? Let me know. We're, we've we've all gone a bit quiet all of a sudden. Hello, 7Ms. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, well done, friends. Yep, spot on. Okay, so H is equal to 4. Okay. Well done, yep. The life of Taz. Welcome. Well, yep, well done, yep. Okay, so the answer is 4. Okay. So we circle that option there. Okay. Well done, okay. Right, next question. Okay. Moving on swiftly. A box of pencils cost £3.24. Work out the total cost of 16 pencils. Okay. We'll do £3.24. Multiply by 16. Okay. So let's work it out. Yeah, taking our time with this. 
Okay, six times four is going to be twenty-four. So four can be the two. Six times two is twelve. Plus the two is going to be fourteen. So four can be the one. Six times one is going to be eighteen. Twenty is going to be nineteen. So it's nineteen times forty-four. Okay, hello, toe four, come my friend. Hello, hello. Okay, now I do 10 times this. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to put a placeholder. Okay, one times four is four. Okay, two times one is going to be two. And then three times one is going to be three. Okay, so adding this together, what do we get, guys? Okay, so what do we get? Okay, so thank you so much. Yeah, J Bliss for liking. Okay, thank you, J Bliss, for liking. Hello, Morgs. Welcome, welcome. So 4 plus 0 is going to be 4. 4 plus 4 is going to be 8. Decimal point comes down. 9 plus 2 is going to be 11. So 1 carry the 1. 1 plus 4 is going to be 2. So that is going to be 5. Okay, so the final answer is 51 pounds and 84 pence. Okay. And that is my answer for that question. Okay. So again, a super common question, okay? Yeah, looking at some calculations, okay, for the non calculated paper, okay, for the foundation tier, okay? Are there any questions, guys? Let me know. Are there any questions, okay? Am, am I going too fast? Or can, you, can you still hear me? Let me know. Can you still hear me? Hello, Arrows. Welcome, welcome. That's new around here. Please, please, please press that follow button, okay? If you're new around here. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, Salima, for the follow. Thanks so much, Salima, for the follow. Thank you, Boost Patik, for liking. Okay, everyone in the chat, guys, yeah, if you're not really following me, press that follow button, please, if you can. Yeah, I'd really appreciate it. I'd really appreciate it. Hello, hey, then welcome, welcome. All right, let's move on now, okay? So I believe last time when, when I did this live here, we obviously got to this question, but we, we didn't actually finish the paper, okay? So, looking at some identity work here, okay? Question number 18. Aisha is trying to expand and simplify two sets of single brackets, okay? So two brackets, X plus five, okay? So so two brackets x plus four, sorry, minus three lots of x plus five. Yeah, is equivalent to this. Okay, what mistake has Aisha made? Okay, so let's double check here. Okay, so what mistake has she made? Okay, hello, I don't know. Welcome, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. Nice. I'm in the call again. Hello, hello. Hope you're well. Okay, so the mistake here is that yep, spot on yep. So minus three times positive five should be minus fifteen. Okay, not positive fifteen. 15 okay, so a negative times a positive. Okay, should be a negative and not a positive. Okay, well then, yep. Yeah, thank you. I don't know. Actually, welcome back, my friend. Welcome back. Okay. Yeah. You, 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 you actually just, just join us here the perfect time actually because last time you we, we obviously finished off here. Hello, oh, mate, welcome, welcome. Hey, guys, let me know. Can you hear me, guys? Is it clear, guys? Let me know. Can you hear me? Is it clear, guys? Is the audio clear? Hey, thank you for the follow, by the way. Hello, Ebi, welcome, welcome. Okay, awesome, awesome. Okay, next question, okay. We're looking at some two-way tables. So question 19. 50 students are asked if they walk to school. Three-fifths of the students are boys. 12 of the girls say that they walk to school. And 75% of the boys do not walk to school. Complete the two-way table, okay. So step one, so two-fifths of the total are boys. So working out two-fifths of 50, the fraction of an amount, okay? Again, 
we divide by the bottom and then and by the top. Okay, thank you A for sharing the live share. Thank you A for sharing the live. Okay. So what is two fifths of fifty guys there? Let, let me know in the chat. Thank you A for the share. Thanks so much A for the share. Thank you so much here for 4k likes. Okay, well done, friends. Yep, that is correct. Yep, spot on, friends. Yep. So divide by the bottom and then times by the top. So 50 divided by 5 is 10. 10 times 2 is 20. So we know that in total, okay, we've got 20 boys. That means we're going to have a total of going to be 30 girls. Okay, because 20 plus 30 makes 50. Okay. Then it says that 12 of the girls, pardon me, sorry, say they walk to school. So 12 girls walk to school. Okay, 75% of the boys do not walk to school. Okay, so 75% of the year as a fraction will be three quarters. So if I do three quarters of 20, again, another fraction of an amount. So three quarters of 20. We divide by the bottom and then times by the top. So 20 divided by 5. Sorry, divided by 4 is 5. And 5 times 3 is going to be 13. Okay. So, sorry, 5 times, yeah, 3, yeah, it's finished here. Sorry, yeah, 15. Okay. Thank you, W1X here, yeah, for following us here. Thanks so much for following. Yeah, well done, friends. Yep, spot on. Okay. So, 15 boys do not walk. Okay. That means five boys do walk because five plus 15 makes a 20. Okay. And then to work out the total number of people that walk, okay, five plus 12 will be 17. Okay. And then if I do 50, take away 17, okay, using column subtraction, I will get 33. And then finally, I'm going to do 33 minus 15. Okay. When I do that, I get 18. Okay. Does that make sense, guys? Does that make sense? Okay. Thank you so much here for 4K likes. Thank you so much for 4K likes. Thank you for all the follows, guys. Thank you so much for all the follows. I appreciate it. Okay. Does, does that make sense, guys? Okay, I'll give you a few seconds to screenshot that. Okay. Yes, it is foundation age. Yep, it is foundation. Yep, age is foundation. Okay. But we're now creeping towards the start of a higher tier paper. Okay. Thank you so much, A, for sharing. Yeah, thanks so much, A, for sharing. Yo, bro, how do you change the percentage into a fraction? So, percentage, okay, means out of 100. Okay. So, percentage means out of 100. Okay. So, for example, 19% will be 19 out of 100 okay so a fraction sorry a percentage means out of 100 okay a percentage means out of 100 okay does that make sense hello aria welcome welcome D does that make sense jay so a percentage means out of 100 okay Right, guys, question 20, okay? So some fraction work here. Again, this is now appropriate for both higher and foundation, okay? Awesome, awesome, okay? So question 20A, okay, adding mixed numbers, okay? 
I'll give you a few minutes to have a go at this question and then I will share my answer. Hello, Liv. Welcome, welcome, Liv. Hello, hello. Guys, when you're around here, please, please, please hit that follow button, okay? So press that follow button, okay? I know we're quite away off actually, but I am quite ambitious, okay? My target is to try and hit 10k followers, okay? That, that is quite ambitious, I know, okay? But I would like to hit, yeah, ideally a 10k followers this year by the end of the exam season, okay? That is my target, okay? Hello, Anise, welcome, welcome. Hello, Cam Claire. Welcome, welcome, my friend. Welcome, welcome. So, Jay, everyone in the chat, guys, if you're not already following me, press that follow button. Okay, press that follow button, please. Okay. Hello, my friend. Hello, hello. Hope you're well. Thank you for all the gifts, guys. Yeah, but thank you for all the gifts this live. Thanks so much, Jay, for the follow. Thanks so much, Jay, for the follow. Guys, everyone in the chat, okay, make sure you press that follow button, okay, and help me reach, K okay, 10,000 followers, okay, that is my target. Hello, Ace, welcome, welcome. Hello, F, welcome, welcome. Right, guys. Is it time to do the question now? Do we have an answer? Hello, Alana. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining. Hello, bye. Hello, Shell. Welcome, welcome. Hello, Turbo Slug. Hello, Heidi. Welcome, welcome. Right, guys, can I go through it now? Or are we still working it out? Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Hello, Ashlands. Welcome, welcome. Hello, Peter Ramage. Welcome, my friend. They type in ready when you're ready, and we can talk about it. Do the question. Hello, Evie. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining. Thank you, Jay, for liking. Thank you, and thank you so much, Jay, for liking. That's nearly 5k likes, guys. We, we are smashing it today. We are smashing it. Nearly 5k likes, yeah. Absolutely awesome, okay. You know, I was quite ambitious here to obviously hit 50k likes, but you know what? If we even hit 10k likes today, then I'll be happy, okay. Hello, hey, welcome back. Hello, hello. Right, guys, let's go through it. Okay, question number 28. So work out three and two fifths plus two and one twelfths. Okay. So again, there's different ways to obviously work it out. Okay. So my way personally is I'm going to add the two whole numbers together. So three plus two is five. And then add my fractions and then combine my answer. Okay. So two fifths plus three one twelfth. Okay. Again, the smallest common factor that is common to both will be 60. Okay. So times top and bottom of this. Okay. So cross multiply here. Okay. So times top and bottom of this by um, 12. So we get 24 plus 
one times five, five, five eight is going to be five. And then over the product of the denominators, the five times two is going to be um, 60. Sorry, five, to, five times 12, sorry, it's going to be 60. Okay. That gives us a final answer of 29 sixtieths. Okay. So putting my answer together, you get five whole and 29 sixtieths. Okay. Let's go back here for a second again. Let's just go back here for a second before it logs me out. There we go. Okay. Back to the paper now. Okay. So, guys, did we get that actually? Let me know. Did we get that? Let me know. Sorry about, sorry about my hand today. I'm so sorry. I'll try and fix it for next time. Okay. It was my first live year, like post Easter break. Okay. Does that make sense? Okay. So remember, when we're adding fractions, we, we want to have a common denominator. Okay. Same with subtracting fractions. Okay. And again, this is a super, super common topic here. Okay. Particularly at the start of higher tier papers and the end of financial year. So please, please, please revise your fraction work. Okay. Adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing mixed numbers and also normal fractions. Okay, that's my answer for that. Okay, okay, next part. Okay, part B. Okay, dividing fractions. Okay, so work out one and five sixths divided by two thirds. Give your answer as a mixed number in its simplest form. So, step one convert it so it's an improper fraction or a top heavy fraction. One whole is going to be six sixths. Because 5 6, that'll be 11 6. Okay, so we're going to have 11 6 divided by 2 thirds. Okay, now it's that famous cliche okay, um, statement. Okay, so use the KFC method. Okay, so keep the first fraction the same. You flip the second one. And then you change it to a times okay, or a multiplication. Okay. So multiplying fractions, we multiply the top by top and bottom by bottom. 11 times 3 will be 33. And 6 times 2 is going to be 12. So we get 33 twelfths, okay, which is an improper fraction. Okay. So to make it a mixed number, we find out how many 12s go to 33. That'll be 2 whole. Okay, so 2 times 12 is going to be 24. Okay, and we're going to have 9 twelfths. Okay, remaining. Okay, now I can simplify 9 twelfths. Okay, dividing the top and bottom of 9 twelfths by 3, we get 2 3 quarters. And that, guys, is my answer. To that question okay that's how we divide okay fractions okay so it's the keep flip change okay or keep change flip okay kfc or kcf okay keep the first fraction the same you flip the second fraction and then change it to a multiply okay does that make sense guys are there any questions Are there any questions or can I move on? Thank you, friends, for liking the thing. Thank you so much, your friends, for liking. Guys, if you're new around here, make sure you press that follow button, okay? Press that follow button, please, if you're new around here, okay? And help me reach 10k followers, okay? That is my target. It's a big target, I know, but that is my target. Okay, thank you, Shell, for the follow. Thanks so much, Shell, for the follow. Okay, everyone in here, press that follow button, okay? Please, if you can. Right, looking at some inequalities now, okay, and some ratio, okay? 
So we've got what we call yeah, a compound inequality or a double inequality. Okay, the question 21. Solve minus seven. The first question is not correct. Well, oh, which one? Sorry, which one's not correct? Sorry, which, which one? Which one, Davy? The first question, what do you mean? The first question is here. Circle the even number. So an even number ends in a zero, two, four, six, or eight. Question 20. Let's have a look. Yes, fine. It's foundation, yes. No, it is right. It is right, yeah, it is right. We, which one's wrong, sorry? Study. Can you be a bit more clear? We'll come back to that question, okay? Because Daddy's not is right, but it is higher. So this is actually foundation, but we are now in the higher tier um, category. Okay. Hello, Rami Roma, Rambo, sorry. Hello, Rami Rambo, Rambo, sorry. Hello, welcome, welcome. Right. So to solve this double inequality, okay, we've got. Solve minus 2 is less than or equal to 2x minus 1, which is less than 5. Uh, yes, I do. Oh, yes, okay. I think I've got some videos here on my page on here or on YouTube. Okay, so if you search functions, okay, otherwise I'll, I'll post a video here about it soon. Okay, so step one, okay, so show your answer on the number line. So step one here, I'm going to add one. To all three sides. Yep, well done, Farhad. Yep, spot on. So we're going to have minus 7 plus 1 is going to be minus 6. So minus 6 is less than or equal to 2x, which is less than 5 plus 1, which is going to be 6. So 2x means 2 times x. So to get x, we're going to divide all three sides by 2. Minus 6 divided by 2 is going to be minus 3. And then 6 divided by 2 is going to be 3. Okay. So we're going from minus 3 to 3. Okay. So I'm going to fill in the circle. Actually, so I'm going to fill in the circle here. Okay, because it's got the equal sign. It'll be a hollow circle. And then with a ruler. Oops. It wasn't very good there, okay? But you get the idea, guys, okay? Why is my free hand so bad today? This is awful. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome. Okay, that's a bit better, okay? There we go. Okay, does that make sense, guys? That first part, okay? Does that make sense? Are we happy with that? Any questions? Or can I move on? Okay, next part. Okay, so working out equivalent ratios. Okay, so a ratio that is equivalent to three to four. Okay, so. Let's have a look here. So, okay, if I divide both sides by three, I get one to four thirds. 
Okay. So four thirds as a mixed number is one and one third. Okay. One third is 1.3 reoccurring. Okay. So it'd be one to 1.3 reoccurring. Okay. So it's not that and it's not that. Okay. The other option is to divide both sides by four. So we get three quarters to one. Now, three quarters as a decimal is 0 0.75. So my final answer would be 0 0.75 to one. Okay. Because one quarter is 0 0.25. So three quarters is three lots of 0 0.25. Which gives us 0 0.75. Okay. Or alternatively, Work out three divided by four using the bus stop method, and it gives you zero point seven five. Okay, so that's my answer for that question. Okay, so again, a few seconds to screenshot that. Okay, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, let's move on. Okay. So looking, okay, so, so looking at some data, so, so looking at some stats here. Okay, how many more questions here? Do, do you have any more questions? Sorry, I'm just double checking. Okay, 24, 24, 26. Okay, we've got, yeah, we've got about seven more questions here, I think, or six more questions. Okay. Right, question number 23. A website asks customers to rate a product from one star to five stars. The frequency table shows information about the ratings given by 20 customers. Part A, what was the median number of stars awarded? Okay, so step one, to work out the median, okay, we want half of our customers. Okay, so we're gonna work out a half of 20. So a half of 20, which is 10, okay? So our median is the tenth value. So it's the tenth value in my frequency table. Okay, so we start at eight. We do eight plus five, which would be thirteen. Okay, that's greater than or or equal to ten. So my median has to lie, okay, in this region here. Okay, so my median number of stars will be the number two. Okay. So we work out half of the total frequency. Okay, and then we want, okay, the tenth value in my frequency. Okay, the first eight have one star. So the tenth value has to lie in this next part, okay, which is there. Okay, where do you get the half? Okay, so the half is because we want the middle value when we line up our data. Okay, so we want the middle value when we line up our data. Okay. So we, we want half of the total frequency, okay? So the user, welcome, welcome, user. Uh, Louis, welcome, welcome. Okay. So we worked out half of our total number of data, okay, so half the total number of frequency, okay, because we, we want bang on the middle value, okay? Does that make sense? Friends, does that make sense? Okay, awesome, awesome. Okay. Hey, God, I just see you next week. Okay, good luck, my friend. Good luck, KM, Kaya, Karen, okay? So make sure you give us a yeah, follow guys. Okay, I'll try and do as many lives as possible. Okay, as we approach the paper one exam. Okay, the focus now is paper one higher and foundation tier papers here. So obviously, look at different examples. Okay, but focusing on the non-calculated topics. Okay, for now. Okay, right. Part B. Okay, Max thinks that the range of the number of stars is eight minus zero explain why max is wrong well because 
this is the number of numbers, okay? So to work out the range, okay, we would do five, take away one, okay? Because there, there's three fives and there's eight ones, okay? So range is the biggest value, take away the smallest value, okay? So it's meant to be five, take away one, which is four, okay? We are not looking at the frequency column. We're we are looking at our first column here, okay? So look at the number of stars key here, okay? We've got eight ones. Okay, so think of it as I've got one, one, okay? Blah, 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 yeah, I've got eight ones. And then I've got three fives at the end. Okay, so five, five, five. So the range would be biggest takeaway smallest, okay? Does that make sense, guys? Yeah, does, does that make sense? Okay. Yeah, I'm on higher, but I'm in set three. So it's a fighting lose battle. Okay, I get five to year. Well, Kai, I'm, oh, sorry. Kai, 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 I'm sorry, yeah. Okay, so give us a follow actually, yeah. And, and I'll try and do yeah, some, obviously, yeah, some more higher tier labs here yeah, in the near future. Okay, but my best advice actually, yeah, is just to rep out actually, yeah, past papers, okay, um, and watch videos here, yeah, on, obviously, on COVID maths, okay. And just obviously, yeah, hammer those past papers here. Yeah. So, hammer those past papers. Okay, thank you okay, okay. so much, yeah, Cam, for the follow. Thank you so much for the follow. Thank you, Smiley. Thank you, yeah, for the follow. Okay, thank you so much for the follow. Okay, Shell says, yeah, thumbs up. Okay, so thumbs up. Okay. So, I'll give you just 10 seconds here yeah, to actually screenshot that. Okay. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two and one okay moving on now okay so looking at some collecting like terms now okay okay so again this is also appropriate for the higher tier as well okay so simplify three n squared plus five n squared so in total i've got eight n squared okay think of it as i've got five pounds and i'm going to add three pounds I've got eight pounds in total. Yeah, more than yeah, more than some other yeah, Spot on. Okay, part B a bit more trickier. Simplify two n to the power of five all cubed. Well, I'm gonna so I'm gonna, I'm gonna have two n to the power of five times two n to the power of five times two n to the power of five. Okay. Uh, I can do third yet yeah, at some point. Yes. Okay. I can do thirds. At some point, yes, okay. So two times two times two is eight, and then n to the power of five times n to the power of five times n to the power of five because it has the same base and I'm multiplying, I can just add the powers five plus five, five is going to be 15. Okay, so eight n the power of 15 okay does that make sense guys hello peace welcome welcome so hello okay awesome awesome okay again these questions here are quite common on non-calculator papers okay to revise your laws of indices okay part c Simplify 5 squared times 4f to the power of 6 divided by 10f cubed. Again, do bit by bit, okay? So 5 times 4 is going to be 20. And then f squared times f to the power of 6. I'm going to add the powers to be f to the power of 8. Okay. Divided by 10f cubed. Okay. So 20 divided by 10 going to be 2 and then f to the power of 8 divided by f to the power of 5 okay that will be f to the power sorry yeah f to the power of 5 okay so the final answer will be 2f to the power of 5 okay 8 subtract 3 is 5 okay does that make sense, guys? Okay, again, this is a super, super common exam-style question. Okay, looking at laws and rules of indices. Okay, so revise 
yeah, your laws and your rules of indices, okay, for GCSE maths, okay. Okay, awesome. Fran says yes. Awesome, awesome, okay. Awesome, my friend. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Good work. Okay, let's move on. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, so looking at some Venn diagrams now. Okay, so Venn diagrams are a bit more trickier. So we are told that 60 students are asked whether they like football or cricket. 15 say they like both. 20, 29 say they like football. And eight students like neither. So complete the Venn diagram. Okay, so first part, yeah, so 15 years say they like both. The 15 year goes in the middle. Okay. 29 like football. So the so the circle actually for football year has to add to make 29 years. So that means that has to be 14. Because 14 plus 15 makes 29. Okay. Eight like neither. So eight goes inside the box here, but as I'm a circle. Okay. And then finally, for the number of students that like cricket. Well, we know that 14 plus 15 makes 29. 29 plus 8 makes 37. So if we do 60 minus 37, okay, that will tell us the remainder that like cricket, okay, only. So that thing that I can't do is I need to borrow, that becomes a 5, that becomes 1. 10 takes 7 is going to be 3. And five take three is going to be two. Okay, so 23 students. Okay, oops, sorry. The 20, yeah. Okay, so 23 students like cricket only. Okay, well done, friends. Yep, well done, friends. Yep, spot. Okay, and that is my final answer for this Venn diagram question. Okay, and I've got to say, as yeah, this is a very, very Common exam style question that appears on both tiers. Okay, so please, yeah, re revise here and obviously learn this topic here. So it's looking at Venn diagrams. Okay, for that. Okay, and this one is a bit more nasty. Okay, looking at some ratios. Sorry, pardon me. Okay, hello, Matt Tutorial. Welcome, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. Okay, question to 26 card. Yeah. The ratio of cars to vans in a car park is two to three. Okay, so cars to vans. Okay, the ratio of vans okay, to coaches in the same car park is six to one. There are 15 more vans than coaches. How many cars are there in the car park? So we've got cars to vans. Okay. And we got vans to coaches. Okay, yeah, so I'll, what is it? I'll put it as C O A for coaches. Okay, I'll, I'll just write it as coach. Okay, so C for car, B for van. Okay, well, thanks so much. Yeah, thank you for the gift, sir. Thanks so much for the gift. I appreciate that. Thank, thanks so much for the gift. Hey, thank, thank you for the rose, sir. Thanks so much for the rose. I appreciate it. Very kind of you. Please see if I come when you can. Where where is your comment, Ben? Yeah, I I I've actually seen your comment. Sorry, Ben. Can you comment it again, please, Ben? Hello, Eva May. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so there's two to three, okay, and there's a six to one, okay. Okay. Now we want to make it so we have like the same ratio. So I'm going to multiply this by two, so I get four to six. So we got six to one. Okay. So therefore, the ratio of the number of cars to vans to coaches will be four to six to one. Okay. One of your posts, I think you, you made a mistake, Kate. All right, okay, no worries. No worries, but no worries, no worries. Thank you for letting me know, Ben. Yeah, thank you for letting me know, Ben. I appreciate it. Okay, so 
what do we do now? Well, we are told that there are 15 more vans than coaches. So 15 more vans, okay, than coaches, okay? So let's work out the difference. So 6 minus 1 is going to be 5. So 15 divided by 5 is going to be 3. Eight. So three vehicles equals one part. So remember, that's cars, that's the vans, and that's coaches, a CO for coach. Okay. So we're going to do four times three, which will be 12. So there are 12 cars in the cop. Okay. Does that make sense? Okay. Does that make sense? Let me know in the chat. Does that make sense? Okay, awesome, awesome. Okay, awesome. The smiley face says yes. Hello, Lena, welcome, welcome, Lena. Hello, hello. Welcome. Okay, so let's move on now. Okay. Next part case is solving some equations. Okay, again, another super hot topic here for GC Maths. Okay, Ion Foundation. Part A. Then, yeah, solve two brackets. K plus five, yeah, is equal to 24. Okay. Can can take SL. Yeah, sorry, sorry, yeah, sorry, fans. Yeah, sorry about that. Yes, you can. Sorry, yeah. Okay. Yeah, spot on. Yeah, no worries, fans. No worries. Okay. Thank you, your fellow Ginger, for liking. Thank you much for liking. Okay. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, let's move on. Okay. So solving an equation involving brackets. Okay, so there are two ways to do this. Okay. So my way is to expand it. So two times k will be two k. And then two times five will be positive ten. That's equal to 24. Okay. Subtract 10 on both sides and then divide it by 2. Okay, so subtract 10 on both sides and then divide it by 2. We get that 2k equals 14. So k, guys, must be 7. Okay, so k is equal to 7. Well, then, Oh no, careful, friends, careful. Careful, okay. So 14 divided by 2 is going to be 7. Yeah, no worries, no worries. Awesome, awesome, okay. That's easy, okay. Cool, cool. Right, let's move on. Part B, okay, slightly more trickier. Okay, solving an equation with unknowns both sides. Step 1, I'm going to add 4x to both sides. Okay, because I want to get all my x on to one side. Okay, so we're going to have 18 equals 6x minus 3. We're going to add 3 to both sides. Okay, and then divide by 6. Okay. We get 21 is equal to 6x. Dividing both sides by 6, okay, we get that x is 21 6. Or if you simplify that, you get 7 halves. Okay, either answer would suffice. Okay. Does that make sense, guys? Are there any questions or can I move on? Okay, awesome, awesome. Okay. So five seconds to screenshot. Uh, yes, yes, Frank, you can, yes. Okay. So 3.5 year would also work. Yep. Okay. 
So five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, let's move on. Okay, the last few questions now. Okay, we're looking at some trig. Okay, and this top question. Okay, so part A is knowing your exact trig values. Okay, so part A. So write down the value of cos sixty. So cos sixty is the same as sine thirty, which is equal to one half. Okay, or zero point five. Okay, so cos sixty is equal to one half. Okay. That's one of your exact big values that you have to remember for your non calculator paper, okay? So revise your exact trig values, okay? And there are some fantastic videos on the on the TikTok here and on YouTube okay, for how to remember exact trig values, okay? Does that make sense, guys? Okay. Okay, part B. Uh, so this is actually non-calculative. Yeah, so yeah, it, it's non-calculative foundation, but this topic can appear here yeah, on the higher as well. Okay, but yeah, um, non-calculative trigger yeah, appears on both tiers. Okay, both tiers. Part B. Work out the value of x. Okay, so using trig. Okay? So step one: label your sides. Okay. So that will be opposite, because opposite of the angle. Yeah, yes, friend, yep, yeah, spot on, friend, yes, yeah, spot on, friend. That's going to be adjacent, so it's next to my angle. And that's my hypotenuse, because it's opposite the right angle. Okay, it's the longest side. Okay. We now write down Sokatoa. Okay. So our famous acronym, so Sokatoa. Okay. So so katoa, okay. We, we we then have our trig ratio, okay, triangles. Okay, so sine is opposite over the hypotenuse, cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse, and then tangent or tanama angle is opposite over the adjacent, okay? So what are we given? Well, well we're given angle, yes, so we're given theta. So we're going to work out the adjacent, we're given the hypotenuse, yes. So we're going to be using the cosine, okay? We're going to be using cos. So we know that cos 60, okay, is equal to, okay, the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So it's equal to x over 18, okay? Are, are we happy with that step there, guys, okay? Does that make sense? Are we happy with that? So cos of my angle is the adjacent over the hypothesis. Okay, awesome, friends. Awesome, awesome. Thank, thank you, Smiley, for liking. Thanks so much, Smile, for liking. Okay, we know that cos 60 is equal to a half from part A. So we got a half. Equals x eighteenths. Okay, so if if we multiply both sides of my equation by eighteen, we get a half times eighteen. Okay, so a half of eighteen is equal to nine. Okay, so a half of eighteen is equal to nine. Okay, so x is equal to nine. Okay, does that make sense, guys? Does that make sense? Hello. Good, you're welcome, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Hello, Joe Murphy. Welcome, welcome. Okay. So remember, so katoa. Okay. So sine is opposite over the hypotenuse. Okay. Cosine is the opposite over the adjacent. Okay. And tangent, okay, is the opposite over the adjacent. Okay. So always refer to these trig ratio, okay, triangles, okay? Okay, right, next one here. Next part, part C. Circle the value of tan y. Well, tan 
is the opposite over the adjacent. So it'd be opposite, which is 5, over the adjacent, which can be 13. No, sorry, not 13, sorry. Over 12, sorry. Because that is my hypotenuse. Sorry, that is my hypotenuse. Sorry. Okay. So it's opposite over the adjacent. So it would be 5 twelfths. So tan y is equal to 5 twelfths. Okay. And that's my answer for part C. Okay. Does that make sense, guys? Does that make sense? Okay, awesome, 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 friends. Awesome, smiley face. Okay, so I'll give you just a few seconds if you screenshot that. Okay, so the topics here are part A is exact trig values, part B is trig, yeah, so using salt catoa, and then part C yeah, is also using a yeah, salt catoa. Okay, now please note here part C has not asked for the angle, it just says what is and y equal to. Okay, obviously five twelfths. Okay, yeah. So why would obviously be an acute angle here? But because of here, it's a non-calculated paper. Okay, you are not required to work out what the angle is. Okay, so don't panic about that part there. Okay, okay. So note that part C just says what is the value of ten and y equal to. Okay, it's not asked for the angle. Okay, that's the key part. Okay. Let's move on. Okay, so last question, I think, yeah, for is the last one, yeah, it's the last one for today. Okay, a nice, juicy, uh, BT5 mark question. Okay, so let's, let's have a look. Okay, so a machine digs three centimeters of tunnel every minute. Okay, Jack thinks the machine will dig more than a kilometer of tunnel if it runs continuously for two and a half days. Is Jack correct? Show working to justify your answer. Okay, so it digs three centimeters. Okay, every minute. Okay, one minute. Okay, so in two minutes it digs six centimeters. Okay, in three minutes here yeah, it digs nine centimeters. Okay, so on and so forth. Okay, so Jack says that. In two and a half days, okay, it will dig more than a kilometer, okay? So a kilometer, remember, yes, yeah, so one kilometer, okay, is 1,000 meters, okay, which in centimeters will actually be, so times it by 100 now, so add on two zeros, okay? So one kilometer, is equal to a hundred thousand centimeters. Okay, so that, that's the key part to remember. Okay, so we want our answer. Okay, or to prove. Okay, is our answer going to be greater than a hundred thousand centimeters? Okay, that's the key to remember. Okay, so two and a half days. Okay, so let's actually change that into um into hours and then days first. Sorry, and then minutes. Yeah. Okay. So, two days, okay, so one day is 24 hours, so two days, so that would be 48 hours, plus half a day, which would be um, 12 hours, okay, because half 24 is going to be 12, okay, so it's going to be 60 hours in total, okay, and then hours into minutes, we're going to multiply that by 60. So we're going to have 60 times 60. Okay, thank you so much, yeah. Thank you, Izzy, for the follow. Thank you so much, Izzy, for the follow. Okay. So 60 times 60 will be 3,600 minutes. Okay. Now we want to compare, okay, are these ratios the same? Okay, so we, we want to compare three centimeters, remember, equals one minute. 
Now, Jack's claim, okay, if this is true, is that in two and a half days, which is 3,000 years and 600 minutes, okay, it digs over a kilometer into uh, the tunnel, okay? So, Hundred thousand, okay. Is equal to three thousand six hundred minutes. Okay. So let's check and compare our two ratios, okay? That's the key part, okay? So to go from here to here, I've times it by three so three point six k. So I'm going to times three by three thousand six hundred. Okay. And if my answer is smaller, then Jack is right. Okay. Hello, M4, Jane, for welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. I hope you're well. Hello, hello. Okay, so three times zero is going to be zero. Zero times three is going to be zero. See, six times three is going to be eighteen. So eight carry the one. Okay, and then three, three times three is going to be nine. Plus one is going to be ten. Okay, so according to the first ratio. Yeah, thank you, thank you, friends. Yeah, thank, thank you for liking. Thank you, Emmy, for liking, or Emily for liking. Okay, and thank you, users. Yeah, thank you, user, for liking. So, according to our first ratio, okay, it says the machine will dig more than a kilometer. Well, let's just check here. Okay, so is this number bigger than this? Well, it's not. No. Okay, so ten thousand. 800 here is smaller than 800,000. Okay. Therefore, Jack is wrong. Okay. So, therefore, Jack is wrong. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Max, here for liking. Yeah. Thank you, Max, for liking. Thank you, Emily, for liking. Okay. Is wrong. Okay. Does that make sense, guys? Yeah. Does that make sense? Are we happy with that? Okay. Thank you, Max, for the follow. Thank, thank you so much for the follow. Um, Emily, yeah, so the, this is actually a financial. It is a fun. It is a financial paper, but this part is appropriate here yeah, for higher tier as well. Okay. So the last 10 questions, I think, overlap with a higher tier paper, okay? Roughly, okay? So does that make sense, guys? Are there any questions, okay? That, that was quite like a tricky here. It's, it's, it's a tricky, yeah, yeah, like last question there, okay? Hope it makes sense. Okay. We will finish there for today, yeah, so we'll finish there for today, okay? So, are there any questions, guys, here, or are there any topic requests, okay? Thank you, Emily, for the follow. Thanks so much, yeah, Emily, for the follow. Thanks so much for the follow. Okay, so we've got surge, yep, so, so we'll obviously cover surge, yep, at some point, okay? Are there any other topics? Thank you, Emily, for liking. Thank you so much for liking, okay? Can I do simultaneous equations? Yes, I can do, yes. Yep, I can do, Emily. Yep, sure, yep. 
Okay, no worries, no, no worries, it's Shitology, okay? But guys, before we go, here, can we try and get to 10k likes here before I go, guys, yeah? Okay. Can we just tap, guys, yeah? Get me to 10k, guys, yeah? And, and then I'll call it a day, yeah? Thank you for liking. Thank you for liking, guys. Thank you so much for liking. Yes, guys, 8K likes, game was smashing it. Thank you so much, Emily, for liking them. Thank you. Thank you, Smiles, for liking. Thank you, Emily, for liking. Thank you, Smiles, for liking. Guys, make sure you press that follow button, guys. Yeah, if you're new around here, please, please, you can, yeah, press that follow button, guys, okay? And help me reach your 10K followers, okay? That's my target. Thank you so much, yeah. Thank you, Max, for liking. Come on, we're so close here to 10k likes. We're so close, Kate. But we will call it a day, guys, Kate. But thank you so much, yeah, for liking, Kate. I'll end it here when we hit 10k um, likes. Thank you for liking, guys. Thank you so much for liking. I appreciate it. Thanks so much. Thank you for all the gifts, guys. Yeah, thank you for all the gifts. There we go. 9K bang. Only, only 0.9K to go. When, 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 when I'm next going to be like, actually, I'll let you know, actually, I'll let you know, Emily, I'll let you know, okay, I'll, I'll try and do some announcements on my TikTok page and on YouTube, okay, or when I'm going to love a share, but I'm, the plan hopefully will be like weekend lives here, yeah, okay, that is my target, and then we'll see yeah, like some like weekly lives here, yeah, depending on my energy levels, okay, thank you much for liking it. Uh, we smashed it, guys. We smashed the gate. Thank you so much. Yeah, let's have a look. And we've hit it. Okay, thank you so much, guys. Yeah, thank, thank you for liking it. Thank you for all the gifts, guys. Okay, thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Okay, I will see you all very soon. Okay, and now be sour, okay, and enjoy your weekend. Okay, thank you for 10.1k likes. Yeah, thanks so much for 10.1k likes. I will see you all very soon okay bye for now take care all the best